In this video, we're going to graph a rational function without using the calculator. So in order to find x-intercept, we have to set y equal to zero. Since the numerator denominator doesn't really have common factor, we can just let the numerator part equal to zero and solve for x, which is negative eight. And this will be our x-intercept. In order to find y-intercept, we can set x equal to zero, which is zero plus eight over zero minus two. Then we have a zero comma negative four as our y-intercept. And for vertical asymptote, we can factor the denominator and set the equal to zero. And this is true when x equals negative one and positive one. And we can now talk about the behavior near vertical asymptote. So we have to look at negative one from the left. So you can choose and let x equal very close to negative one from the left, like negative 1.1. Then we're going to use a sign analysis. Plot these points to our factor form. So negative 1.1 plus 8. 8 is bigger, so we know that we're going to have positive value. And then 2, you can ignore it because it's always positive. And x plus 1, so replace your x with negative 1.1 plus 1 gives us negative value. And negative 1.1 minus 1 also gives us negative 1, negative value. So when we multiply positive over, over negative times negative, it gives us positive value. This tells us that the y is approaching positive infinity uh, as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Now we can uh, now look at negative 1 from the right and choose a value like x equal negative 0.9. And for sign analysis, we know that we're going to have positive value for numerator and then x, which is negative 0.9 plus one gives us positive and then negative 0.9 minus one gives us negative. Multiply the map that we have negative value and as x approaches negative one from the right, y approaches negative infinity. Now let's look at one from the left. And you can let x equal 0 0.9. You can choose like x equal 0 0.99 if you want to, because that's very close to one but I would just choose a 0 0.9 and use sign analysis. So the numerator part is positive and then denominator, we have positive and then negative. Multiply the map, then we get a negative value. So I know that as X approaches one from the left, Y approaches negative infinity. Lastly, one from the right, you can let x equal 1.1. And use the sign analysis. Then the numerator part is positive. Denominator 1.1 plus one is positive. 1.1 minus one is also positive because 1.1 is bigger than one, right? And when we multiply the map, we get a positive value. So as X approaches one from the right, Y approaches positive infinity. Now let's look at our D. It says find the horizontal asymptote. HA represents horizontal asymptote. Let's look at the degree. Degree of the numerator is one and the degree of the denominator is two. So degree of the denominator is bigger. So we know that we have a horizontal asymptote at y equal zero. 
So now we can graph using intercepts for glass until then behavior near vertical glass until. And it's okay to cross the horizontal asymptote since uh, it is defined and part of the domain. 